Today, big changes are coming to Gawker Media. It's the no holds barred news and gossip site that owns blogs like Jezebel, Deadspin, Gizmodo, and its flagship, Gawker. There's been nothing short of, re of a revolt at Gawker this week. I've never seen anything like this before, with yelling and finger pointing at staff meetings, and now the possibility of more resignations. So let me back up and tell you what happened. The site posted a shocking story earlier this month about a married media executive who's related to a former Obama administration official. And it talked about how he was allegedly attempting to hire a gay escort. The escort apparently blackmailed him. Now this whole story, it went online and the negative feedback was immediate and overwhelming with critics using terms like vile and repugnant to describe the story. And as you can tell, we're not naming the person. We're not even going to show you the blog post. I just, it's just not appropriate. But you can see here some of the reaction to it. The next day, Gawker founder Nick Denton chose to pull the post, delete it over the strong objections of the entire editorial staff. So this week, his two top editors resigned. And more writers might jump ship in the coming days. This has even gotten the Taiwanese 3D animation treatment. It depicts the boundaries between church and state, news and advertising, being crushed in this case. As you may know, Gawker is already facing a $100 million lawsuit from the wrestler Hulk Hogan. And the company is trying to make the transition from the blog world, where really anything goes, to a more mature media business. That's fundamentally what this is about. So if Gawker's not a snarky, no hold barred gossip site anymore, what is it? Uh, Nick Denton's here to tell us. He's the founder and CEO of Gawker Media. Nick, welcome back to the show. <coughs> Good to see you, Brian. This blog post went up on a Thursday night. Uh, did you read it ahead of time? No, did I you didn't. know about it? I, I, I did know about it. I knew that uh, the team at Gawker and Tommy Craggs were working on the story. How could you have not insisted on reading it before it was published on your website? I, I have to say I expected that they would take more time, that it would actually only go up sometime on the, on the Friday. I, I was surprised. So you thought you'd have time to read it? You I, thought you'd be involved? I, I, I thought there would be more time for the editorial team to discuss it before moving forward with the story. I, I, I didn't see the point of the story uh, as it was described to me. Hmm. I, I made that clear. And when I sh saw the story later on, it was very, very clear, not just from the universal reaction, which was condemnation from our peers, right. but, but anybody with any kind of humanity could see that this was not a story that was worth doing. So you decided to take it down. There were reports there was a vote uh, among your business leaders and that most of them supported you. Uh, why was it put up to a vote? Uh, it, it, this was my decision. Uh, I ordered the post taken down. Uh, I'm the founder. So it wasn't the, a vote? Uh, the colleagues, my executives, uh, su supported me in my decision, but it, it was my decision. I, I am the founder of the company. I was the editor of Gawker.com. Uh, I, I am the guardian of the editorial ethos of the company. This was counter to what I want us to be doing, and therefore I had it taken down. But Gawker sort of has this reputation as being a place where anything goes. If it's true, you publish it. Uh, we talked about this a few weeks ago. Uh, here's, a, here's actually part of the interview about Hulk Hogan. Knowing what you know now, knowing all of the legal costs already, would you have still published the video? I am glad that the decisions that are taken on publishing are uh, taken at the time, and I'm glad that we only really look at whether the story is both true and interesting. This story was true and interesting, and we'd absolutely publish it again in a, in a heartbeat. This was a sex tape involving Hulk Hogan. Uh, now he's suing, and we can get into the lawsuit. But what you said is, all we really look at is whether the story is both true and interesting. Is that still the rubric for Gawker, or is it more complicated now? I think the difference between Tommy Craggs, the executive, executive editor who resigned on principle uh, over this matter, the difference between him and me is that for Tommy and for some of the more hardline editorial staff, truth I itself <coughs> is the only s necessary defense. And the belief is that nothing should ever be taken down if it is true. Uh, as I said in that quote, I believe uh, that it's not necessary. It's necessary for something more than just simply truth to be operative in a story. Mm. And truth and the interest, interest to our peers, interest to our audience, is essential. Would you publish that tape now? Now that now that it seems like Gawker's changing its editorial philosophy. The Hogan story uh, is an entirely different story. Okay. Uh, the Hogan story, this is a story about a public figure, a massive global celebrity, who talked incessantly about his sex life. Uh, and we learned, by the way, this week, he, he was dropped by the WWE for racist remarks. Uh, that would seem to put him on the ropes a little bit, maybe helps your case? 
I think it, it shows a, some of thing of his motivation. It maybe explains why he's been so forceful mm -hmm. in fighting this particular case. Um, but the, the facts of our dispute with Hulk Hogan uh, are clear. The law is clear. And we look forward to the chance of defending the story in the courts. We, we will continue to publish stories like that. And well, we that's what people are wondering. And we will continue to defend stories like that. And, and I am proud that we defend stories and we publish stories that many other media organizations will not touch, not because they're bad stories, but because they're fearful of the consequences. Would you out a private person again the way this blog post did? We would absolutely out a public figure. Uh, we, I, I've personally been involved in stories about Tim Cook, the CEO of Apple. That was before he spoke publicly about being gay. That's right, about two years before he spoke publicly about being gay. And stories about Anderson Cooper. Uh, Again, before he spoke publicly about it. And so you're okay with that? You're okay with publishing those kinds of stories? Somebody who's a public figure who talks about their life, their personal life, who is interviewed uh, by journalists, I, I, they don't get to say, to us at least, they don't get to say, oh, you can't ask questions about my personal life. You can't, um, you can't ask this particular question. Uh, a lot of the time, journalists go along with the PR campaigns of celebrities. Uh, we don't, and we won't. Well, so what is going to change then? It does seem like you've decided Gawker needs to be a bit friendlier. I, I think w we could calibrate uh, a bit. The company is no longer the fly-by-night blog shop that it was. We're, we're moving into new headquarters tomorrow uh, on Fifth Avenue, north of 14th Street. Uh, the company has more than 100 million uh, global readers per month. Uh, it is one of the four successful online media companies to emerge from the last few years. And it's got a lot of advertisers. Aren't you thinking more about advertising and making sure that they're comfortable with the site? And doesn't that affect the editorial structure? We will never, and we have never, and we will never take down a story because of an, advertiser, of, of, of an advertiser's pressure. Uh, we uh, are committed to running stories the real story and the story behind the story precisely because that's what attracts our audience. That's what people come to us for. And the advertisers who come to us, they come for that audience. The, the editorial independence of the company is not just a principle. It's the core of our mission. It's the core of the company. You say that, but your two top editors resigned. I asked them to come on the program today, and they declined. But they resigned because of you meddling, they would say, with the uh, newsroom. Both, of the, both Max Reed and Tommy Craggs uh, uh, men of considerable principle uh, and sometimes inflexible principle. Uh, they resigned over this particular issue. I don't think it was really a story worth resigning over. Mm. I don't think this was the particular hill to Are you to, saying they're to too extreme? On. They were too extreme about this? I, I, I value their passion and their commitment to independent, uh, independent journalism. Uh, but that has to go hand in hand with trust from me uh, in our editors to make judgment calls. And in this particular instance, the judgment call was wrong, uh, and I had it reversed. People who don't want to stay and work for the new Gawker, the slightly kinder, gentler Gawker, are you offering them buyouts? Are you inviting them to leave? <coughs> this weekend, yes, we are offering uh, both the staff members on Gawker.com uh, and senior editorial management a chance to leave if they don't like the future direction of the company, as I've indicated. How many are you expecting to leave? I don't know. Uh, well, but any, you think? I, 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 I don't know. Uh, I think probably fewer uh, than one might think, given the amount of discontent expressed last week. Mm -hmm. uh, when it comes down to it, people have to make up their minds. Uh, do I want to work at Gorka Media, or do I want to work at some other company? Uh, and we are committed to producing the kind of journalism uh, that I think the boldest and freest writers of the web want to write. Uh, and so I, I believe that most people will actually want to stay. You expect most of the staff to say, but the door is open now. Uh, that's an unprecedented move, isn't it, Nick? I, I don't think that a company can be uh, held hostage. Uh, and a company's, e a, a, a company's ethos can be driven by the determination of some writers to go in a different direction. At, at some point, we all have to decide, are we in this together or not? You know, all in or out. And I think it's just, it's fair, no, no antagonism, there doesn't need to be any kind of bad feeling here. It's a very generous buyout offer. Um, but if people want to pursue their own course that's different than the course that I want to pursue, they should be free to do so. And they shouldn't suffer such bad financial consequences for mm. following a matter of principle. So bottom line, Gawker growing up, you're saying? Yes.